Hi everyone. Well, not only is it Vlogmas number 14, but it's time for us to do the hashtag color and create with us. You rock art. Vlogmas day number 14. I just had to check out what I pulled for glossy box because I cannot believe how fast this is going. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would take a quick second hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are going to be doing the hashtag color and create with us you rock art our hostess is the lovely rosemary from rosemary's you rock art everyone in the um the hashtag color and create with us you rock art uh, most of us use the big and bold coloring book that sold on amazon on mondays rosemary on her youtube channel will show you the prompt of the day and also show you the page for the next week but if you don't have that book you can use anything that you want to use this week i am using the sherry baldies and this is the my besties hot cocoa winter coloring book this is a really really cute page uh coloring book but anyway this is also sold on amazon i'll have this as well as the big and bold coloring book linked at the end of this video but again you can use any coloring book that you want you can do anything freehand you can download something from the internet and color on it just an old coloring book a new coloring book can be absolutely anything but it's called color and create so you can show us anything that you colored you can show anything that you have creating any crafts or anything that you've been working on that you want to share with us so you can color show us a, something you colored show us something you created or show us both something that you colored and created and again um, anything that you do just use that hashtag color and create with us you rock art and thank our lovely hostess rosemary from rosemary's you rock art they post um on mondays i do my best to post on mondays but i kind of alternate between some other another collab that i'm in for monday as well so anyway let's get on to the advent things and then we will show you what we've colored for the week so anyway starting with this little headband right here i got this from Amazon could have been last year, maybe the year before, but I'm thinking probably last year because I've got aqua in my ugly sweater here. I just put on some turquoise rings right here. And let's, oh, the earrings right here are from Janie. I'm always going to do the wrong one here that she made these for me maybe two, two years ago. So anyway, I haven't seen Janie in a while. She had a really sweet, sweet channel, um, over 60 with flair, Janine. Um, she was in Florida, I don't know. Um, you know, she just needed a break from YouTube and maybe just went on to doing something else or moved or whatever. So oh, I hope she's okay. Hope, hope she's okay. So anyway, this is the sweater that I am using. Maybe this will be the winner of the ugly sweater contest. So we've got Santa and I think it's a Yama driving in a dune buggy. And it's a dune buggy because you can see they're on the sand. We've got the beach behind them. We've got a tiki bar here with all kinds of like hay and coconut here. Looks like there's a margarita. There's some coconut, some coconut down here too, as well as presents. So maybe one's a pina colada. The sleeves. Just have the palm trees here with a little bit of aqua and some sparkly red right here. It's a little crop top and black at the bottom, a little bit of red at the top. So anyway, that is the uh, top for today. So is this one of the contenders for the ugly sweater of 2023? You guys tell me. So anyway, I think I forgot to do a coffee yesterday, but that's okay because I'm into all the repeats anyway. So I got the holiday spice for tomorrow from crazy cups and i got this out of amazon my lovely chocolate peas from just janet just amazing janet with the nutcracker chocolate advent calendar so it's another thick thick piece and 
it just melts in your mouth. These are delicious. Best chocolate ever. From my walkers, from my shortbread advent calendar, we got this big honkin' round cookie. I am going to appreciate that. So again, it's a nice cookie, shortbread cookie. Really, really tasty. Really love these. They go really great with my coffee. From my glossy box, and again, this is last year's 2022 that I got during the outlet sale. Um, and so it's Lottie. And I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but it tells me, yeah, it's not going to focus, but it tells me that it's a translucent setting powder, which I do love. And, and as you can see, it's white, but it, to me, it looks like it has some luminosity in there, maybe a little glitter, but it says it's a true translucent. So we will see. I do use, um, I really like the mineral veil, but I've been using other things and adding as I get things from like Ipsy, the Boxy Charm things I've got from Glossy Box. I just kind of mix them with my mineral veil to use them up. So I'm going to add that to my mineral veil. The wine that I got. So I'm using my Santa glass again. So we've got the red Santa and the green Santa. And the wine that we picked out, and I did pre-open it so I wouldn't make too many funny noises, is from my Sip and Savor Advent Casual not a catalog, my Sip and Savor Advent Calendar, and it's from Chard it's Chardonnay from Lodi, California, and I think it says 2019. So let's pour this in my glass, just a little bit here. Not too little, because then, you know, you go to sip it, and you, it takes forever to get it down to your mouth, right? Yeah. So anyway, changed up my nutcracker today. This is actually the first nutcracker that I bought for myself. So years and years ago, and I had replied to Regina and um, how I got into the nutcracker. So it would have been in the 1980s, going to my cousin George's um, mansion on the coast on Rockport, Massachusetts. Incredible, incredible house. He owns like Jaguars, dealerships, and I think he's got Mercedes Benz. He's got uh, Porsche, and then he's got like, like Hyundais and you know, things like that, all along that auto mile in Boston. But anyway, I was just so impressed when I finally got to go to one of his parties, and he had nutcrackers everywhere, every corner of the house, just nutcrackers, and all kind of staged on steps and things like you were just looking at a display. So on the way home, talking with my mom, and she had said, oh, yeah, she really likes them, but, you know, they're just too expensive, and, yeah, she's got, she collects too much, and she's too old to start a collection anyway. So so the next day, I went to um, Bileen's in uh, the Emerald Square Mall, and I bought four nutcrackers. Three were for her, and one was for me, and this is the one I got for myself. And it was from one, uh, and I checked on the bottom, and I, it didn't have the price tag on it still. I like to leave them on there just so I can kind of look back and have a little fun later. But anyway, so this one was from Filene's. It was called the Nutcracker Village that they had. His, I thought uh, he needs a little bit more glue. But anyway, so this was my very first Nutcracker that I bought for myself. And then after that, it just kind of grew from there. And any time we had um, after Christmas sales, I would go. There were, like, different Christmas shops and things like that. You know, Target, Walmart, all kinds of stores like that where maybe you could pick them up for a few dollars. It wasn't until I really got to Minnesota that I got into, like, the Steinbrecks and the Albrights and things like that. But I've got nutcrackers from less than a dollar to more than I would like to say. But anyway, they're just fun to collect. And... I would get them as gifts from people that I worked with that knew I liked nutcrackers. Um, friends would give me nutcrackers. And there was a lady on Facebook. I should remember her name. But anyway, we were friends for a while because I think we were both doing that farming game. Years, maybe. Oh, it had to be going on 10 years, maybe. 7 to 10 years ago. So anyway, she had got some nutcrackers. And maybe I will bring them up for the next time. And then I'll tell you what her name was. So, so sweet. She had some nutcrackers. She didn't like them. She And she saw my collection that I had posted on Facebook once. And so she sent me those nutcrackers. So they just kind of collected over the years. They're just really, really fun. And I'm rambling on. And i got to get to drink my wine. And then we got to go show you the coloring page. So anyway, we are going to put them on red this time. I don't remember what I did last time. But anyway, cheers, everyone. It's Thursday. I hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous week. Cheers, everyone. Mm. 
I love a good Chardonnay. It's got a, you know, you don't understand, I don't understand how they do it, but it's got like a, a nice creamy, buttery type texture. I know if you're not into the wines, you wouldn't understand that, but if you're used to drinking like a regular wine, like I had a Pinot Grigio earlier this week, and the difference in the texture it's just amazing. So sometimes the fruits are the same, but it's just the way they're blended and the varietal of the grape that kind of gives it a whole new flavor. So I'm going to say I'm going to say definitely apple. I'm getting like a tropical sense. I'm thinking pineapple, but it could be another kind of tropical fruit. Not mango, but maybe something else. Definitely pineapple, some vanilla in here, just kind of blend it and make it soft. A little bit of soft tannins up here and down here. I'm going to say it was aged in an oak barrel, and it just kind of gives it a different flavor. The tannins in here from like the oak, the grape stems, the, the grape skins and the stems is what gives it the tannins, which kind of gives it that kind of dry aftertaste. But anyway, this is a really, really good Chardonnay. I don't want to waste it by just sipping it, but this is really so anyway, I want to thank you guys so much. We are going to turn the camera down and get into the color and create portion. Alrighty, so I am back with the page that I colored. And again, this is an open collab that's free to everyone and anyone who wants to join in. It is the hashtag color and create with us. You rock art. Our hostess is the lovely Rosemary from Rosemary's You Rock Art. Now, most people in this collab are using the Bold and Easing Coloring Book that sold on Amazon. Every Monday, Rosemary, on her YouTube channel, will show us the prompt for the color of the day, the page of the day to color in. She'll also show you the page for the following Monday, just in case you wanted to get a head start on it. But if you do not have that book, it's no need to worry. You can use any coloring book that you have. You can download something from the internet and color that in, or you can just freehand something. Whatever you want to color is fine with everyone. Just be sure when you post, you use the hashtag and thank our lovely hostess. You can also show us something that you've created during the week. So you can show us something that you colored, a page you colored, or you can show us something that you created or you can show us something that you did both of, colored and create. So this week I used the Sherry Baldi's The Hot Cocoa Winter Coloring Book again. And I just love the little whimsical girls in here, the characters and just the, the fun clothes. And it kind of reminds me of Lochmas and wearing funny, ugly Christmas sweaters and fun clothes like that. So for me, this is a really fun book and I'm enjoying the pages that I've done so far. And... Um, yeah, oh, I just also wanted to mention, because I had got some gel markers, sparkle markers from Timu, um, I forgot what, could have been last week or the week before, but uh, last week the page that I colored, I had used one of those set of markers just uh, basically on the tree, and it was just nice and glittery and sparkly. I used the other ones this week, and um, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the outline of the pencil, the, the marker here. It's the color that was on the cap, so I've got that green on both sides of it. But inside, it kind of it's a metallic, so it kind of like gold it looks gold. And then when the light hits it a different way, it looks kind of silver. So it's got like this metallic thing, but then the the outline of it is the color that's on the pen. So we'll have to see how I like working with that. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much again for stopping in. Uh, be sure to check out the other ladies and the hashtag color and create with us. You rock art. I'm sure they would love to get to know you. And oh my gosh, the, they, they are just so creative. They know how to use eyeshadows for backgrounds and chalks and markers that don't make a mess. And they're just amazing. And whatever the things that they create are just Oh my gosh, they're just so talented. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous rest of your week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video.